Hi there. Uh, so today I'm going to cover um, how to use the uh, Rival Theories Sentio characters with Ultimate FPS. Uh, Prime over at uh, Rival Theory actually um, had a lot of input on uh, some of the changes to have the two work together. Um, so the first thing I did is I downloaded the Sentio Darkness Warlord by Rival Theory. After that, I downloaded um, the Rain AI for Unity. This is version 2.1.10. And according to the uh, Getting Started guide that comes with the Sentio characters, I unpacked my character. So you go Rain, Sentio characters, unpack all. So here's what it looks like here. So you go the rain, Sentio characters, tools, unpack all. And it'll unpack all of your um, Sentio characters. For me, I just have the one, uh, the Darkness Warlord. Um, after that, um, I downloaded Ultimate FPS. Uh, this is version 1.5.0. I downloaded that into my project. Um, oh, I'm also using uh, Unity uh, 5, version 5, just whatever the latest version is will work. Um, so I've got the clean scene open. I've loaded up the um, Hero HD Weapons, which is under Base Content, Prefabs, the Players. So I've got the, um, I've got both of these right now. I'm going to start off with the Hero. Uh, what I did was I found these items which is under the item types and under my inventory, my player inventory, I just dragged them all on there. So when I hit play, I'll have all the weapons. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to find the damage on collision script uh, right here. This comes um, with the Sentio characters. So we're going to open this in mono develop. On, right here on line 45, I'm going to comment this out. Then on line 47, I'm going to comment this out. Uh, so I'm adding two new lines. This is VP damage info T damage. Um, this will be a new VP damage info. info. We have the damage amount. Uh, this is uh, the transform the damage. The, transform the source of the damage and then we have the damage type um, this is a UFPS uh, damage type so we're saying it's an impact damage type and then we're adding this a collider other dot game object dot send message upwards uh, this is our damage um, UFPS uses this term for uh, their damage receiver and then we've got T damage which is this damage we just typed and then we have the uh, send message options where we don't require a receiver and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to save that next we're going to want to find this damage message receiver and here at the end uh, below the um, the last uh, method uh, the last function I added this per public virtual void damage uh, VP damage info I just named it a damage message. Uh, current damage plus equals a damage message dot damage. And you're going to close it out. And then you're going to want to save that. And the last script uh, that you're going to need to edit is this AI damage receiver. So we're going to want to open that in mono develop. All right, once we were, uh, open that up, we're going to do this uh, public override void damage uh, VP damage info. Uh, remember again, this is a, uh, a UFPS um, class. So we've got our A damage message. Um, we're going to type all of this in. Um, I'm going to post a link uh, to where um, the form that the this information is on so you can just copy and paste it. Um, so we've got our base damage, uh, checking our health element, and our uh, damage, make sure it's not zero, so it's greater than zero. 
Um, so the best thing to do is just go to the other forum and copy this down or you can pause the video and type this in. So once you're done with that you're going to want to save it. Um, so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to need to mark up our uh, UFPS player. Um, so right here I've got my hero selected. I just go to rain, Centio characters, market creatures. I'm just going to make them good. And basically it puts this entity on there, um, creature good, um, so that when we, um, you, the darkness warlord, uh, will actually attack this character. He'll still find the entity. So I'm going to drag the uh, darkness warlord into the scene. I'm actually just going to go ahead and rotate him so that he's facing the character. Uh, so in the Darkness Warlord, I'm just going to change the AI right here from where it starts out at 100. I'm just going to make it 5 uh, so that when we go to uh, attack him, um, we won't have to shoot him or whatever for so long. And I'm going to change this uh, attack damage from 20 and just going to move it to uh, 1. So then when we hit play, it's going to come over here and attack us. So basically it's got to hit us that many times. You see my um, uh, health is going down. So if I switch to my base, I actually kill him one hit because it does five damage and then I'm gonna uh, restart it uh, change to maybe the machine gun so he's dead um, so you can see that um, these changes that the folks over there at rival theory um, suggested suggested uh, work really well. Uh, you're going to want to do the other stuff where you know you set up your uh, navigation and all that kind of stuff. But uh, those changes um, work well and I expect that this would work with any of the Cintio characters um, because they all use the same, I'm guessing that they all use the same uh, damage scripts and health scripts. Alright, have a great day.